December always created a sense of joy and excitement for me. As a 13-year-old, I was looking forward to Christmas break and my birthday. But on December 5th, 1986, Richard Gilmore changed that excitement and joy to pain and terror and has seared a memory, or rather a nightmare, in my mind that I will have for the rest of my life. Around 7 p.m. that night, Richard Gilmore was compelled to break into my home, attack me, beat me, and rape me. I was a virgin, and I thought I was going to die in my home that I had lived in since I was five years old and always felt safe and secure in. He did this to eight other girls, and I'm not going to say their names, but I'm going to give you their ages. 22, 22, 17, 18, 16, 13, 17, 25, and me, 13. Gilmore was not indicted on these crimes because of pathetic and inadequate statute of limitations at that time. Every 68 seconds, an American is sexually assaulted. My point to that is that that puts a lot of strain on our public systems and community systems, which costs you and myself millions of dollars. I find it appalling that in 2013, it was decided that classifications of dangerous sex offenders would be limited to a 10 question scoring system, a static 99. It's inappropriate, irresponsible, and gross negligence on behalf of those people that decided that that was okay. I'm gonna share a little bit about me because this is a reality of sexual assaults. I have fought for years for recovery. I got into drugs and alcohol. I was dehumanized by Gilmore and I didn't know how to get out of that. And so I self-medicated. And so I talked to all of those out there right now that are hurting and feel shamed and regret because somebody took your innocence. I empower you to know that you can do this. You are worthy of it. And if you need to get a hold of me, I will help you. I also want to make a point that again, it is on me and Danielle. The burden is on the victim to try to make things right in the state of Oregon. This is not the first time that we have done this. It started in 2007. 